All right, this tutorial today is going to show you how to use the faculty journal inside of Canvas. So the first thing we need to know is how to get to the faculty journal. As you can see, this is the people that are listed in my sandbox class. You can see I have the people tab open right here. Here's all the different people that are that are in here. And I'll just go to Janessa because, you know, she's my guinea pig for these classes. So if we come over here, this is kind of some of the analytics that you see. Um, you can see she has quite a few page views and participation. Here's some of her grades. Looks like she's not doing very well in my class. Um, but if I click on her name here again, this link, it's going to take me to an additional page of information. And you can see this menu over here on the right-hand side that has a bunch of other, um, these are all links. You can see as I kind of move through, these are all links, even though they're kind of hard to tell. But I'm going to go ahead and click on the faculty journal. And currently, she doesn't have anything in here. Uh, so I can just go ahead and create a new entry. So a title I can be, um, let's put behavior, um, and so I can just leave that and then all you gotta do is hit create entry and there you can see. Um, notice too it doesn't necessarily say who left this particular entry. Uh, so if you were using this, keep in mind all teachers can see this. So if you were using this uh, as a school-wide place to kind of document behavior issues or, or uh, you know, maybe there's just some things uh, from time to time like time on task or, or uh, behavior management issues or uh, is our kids doing their homework or things like that. So if a student, if you were using this to track certain student behaviors um, or, or just any kind of um, information that you would want to know about particular students, um, this is certainly a place to do it, but you might also include who put the who put the information in there. Uh, so maybe you might leave your initials or your name or something to that effect, so you can know who put that in there. Um, and obviously, this would just keep a running record. So if I just make another one, um, you just put. Um, Okay, so there you can kind of see that way it's noted that I'm the one that left the left the uh, the in, that comment in there. Uh, so you can put your initials, you can put your name, whatever the case may be. Notice you can always go back here and delete these over time. Um, but this would be something that, like I said, any staff member can see um, that has access to this particular student. Um, so this is a way that you can kind of keep track of certain student um, anecdotal evidence. Um, and like I said, this is not available for the students to see as well. So that is how you use the faculty journal and how you post a faculty journal entry.